Good morning, everybody. How are you guys? Um, yes, it might be 11 o'clock, right? 11.30 right now, and we have to be at Juice Jam in approximately an hour, a little under, like 45 minutes. So we're kind of in a rush. Um, I didn't finish the editing till about three o'clock last night, so I'm really tired. Um, but, so we slept until 11, now we're gonna change brush your teeth, meet up with the people, grab some breakfast, get on a bus, and go to Juice Jam. And I'm gonna take you guys the entire way. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, if you're not familiar with Juice Jam, is, it's kind of like Syracuse's music festival. Um, but we can talk more about that once we actually get there and you guys can actually see firsthand. But for right now, I got things I gotta get done. But I just wanted to say good morning and I'm not leaving you guys and today is going to be recorded. So this over here.
through Looking like a shipping gate, it's my cool mate We don't walk in, man, body to body Hold up everybody, don't worry, man, I got it, I got it Need a hundred dollar bill, photocopy the email and copy Man, I'm going hard, all season These hoes going both ways, offense, defense Living life on the deep end, FF for allegiance Beat the eyes and got even What you think that we just started, nigga? Boy, the sword has got sharpened, nigga This ain't what we just brought, nigga I was on the roof top with my nigga, my car's a nigga Shooting that two-fake video, my nigga, we all in Set ourselves apart from all our apartments Up in Florida, no Marlins, nigga I'm that shot, no Marlins, nigga Look at my girls, nigga, fuck your bailers Fuck your nightlist, fuck your dailies, fuck your playlists I'm from the deep, fuck your waiters I've been working every day, so we got all the time I'm working every day, so we got all the time The Juice Jam concert was a mission successful. If you're going to Syracuse next year, I highly recommend here, tips for freshmen with Juice Jam. Buy your tickets in the three days that they're available. Go stand in line and buy them for $15 because then after those three days, people start charging like a mother. They like charge you 55 bucks. One lady was selling them for $100 it's not worth a hundred bucks. I don't even know if it's worth 55 bucks, but go buy your ticket for 15 bucks. That's the best deal you can and you can get it out of the way fast. Um, my experience with Juice Jam this year, I didn't go stand in line. I bought it from somebody else. I paid $35. So it wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. If you kind of understand what I'm saying. Um, but maybe if you want to be that guy who buys a bunch of tickets and then sells them for more, you can do that too. But tips for freshmen, do that. Buy the ticket 
then sell them or keep it for yourself. Either way, but you're gonna make some profit, but at least buy one for $15 for yourself. It's the best information I can give you. Now, Juice Jam might be fun, depending on the concert that you're going to, like who's opening, who's singing. For instance, we had Big Sean, like you guys just saw. It made it okay. It was, it was good. Um, I didn't really know a lot of Big Sean and a lot of the other rappers and singers there, so I was kind of lost in the world of hip hop and rap. But other than that, it was pretty good. Um, they got bouncy houses, they had football games going on, they had basketball shooting, they had other bands going on throughout the whole time, so you had plenty to do. Um, now, you don't necessarily have to show up at opening hours. Um, they always say, oh, you have to show up, you're gonna be late. You could honestly show there like 30 minutes before like the main crowd, like Big Sean, for example, and still be fine, you just push your way to the front. You don't necessarily have to sit in the very front to get the best view. Now that's my tip for you freshmen or sophomores who are transferring over next year or whoever's transferring over. That's my tips for you. Now that's about all I got for you. Just know that the way home, the bus ride's gonna be packed. You guys saw that, it was pretty crazy. Uh, I highly recommend eating something. If it's cold, wear cold weather gear. Don't bring so much that you have to carry it. I brought a sweatshirt and a jacket. I only wore the jacket. I didn't need the sweatshirt. So just prepare yourself. If it's cold, bring something, but not too much. Just know that when you're in a crowd of people, it gets really hot. I don't care how cold it is around you. If there's a bunch of people near you, it's gonna get hot because everyone's gonna be jumping. They're gonna be breathing and breathing is heat. So you're gonna get hot. So that's just a heads up. Now with the rest of the night, I know I have to study for a quest tomorrow. It's a quiz test. It's like in between the two, so it's worth, and she calls it a quest. Uh, I've got one of those in my international relations class. And then I have PT tomorrow morning at six o'clock in the morning. I know, so I have to go to bed at least by like nine. It's seven o'clock right now, so I've got two hours to get everything done. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more vlogging tonight just because there's no more activities going on. So I'm gonna have to probably end the vlog, but I'm not gonna quite do it because I still got more to talk about. Um, and that's about it. Um, now in regards to the rest of school and staying busy, I highly recommend figuring out slices of time to actually get motivation and stuff done. Tomorrow we might be going to the rowing house. Um, I haven't really taken the video camera anywhere on that just because it's practice and bringing a video camera to practice is a little hard and it's walk-on tryouts right now, so I don't really want to worry about that. Maybe if I actually make the team, I have a little more leniency to like bring some fun things to, to practice. Uh, but other than that, not really, not really gonna bring you guys to PT just because it's running and you guys don't really want to see that. But everything else is pretty good. So to end it there, I'm just gonna say goodbye and the ending of the vlog is going to be now.